Hi, this is Dr. Bernard Beltholm and today we're going to talk about compression garments. Now, compression garments are really, really important after a number of my surgeries. So, tummy tucks, facelifts, body lifts, arm lifts, inner thigh lifts. And they have a lot of benefits, such as minimizing swelling and bruising, improving blood circulation, reducing the risk of infection, reducing pain, um, and they're also elastic, so making more comfortable for wear. Uh, and they actually, in my view, speed up the recovery process. Now, why do I use compression garments? Because I feel that they actually give you a better result at the end. So they help with the swelling, so you get the swelling a lot quicker out. Um, they also hold everything in position, so when you've done a lot of work, you, want, you don't want a skin to sit in an unnatural position and then heal in an unnatural position. So you really want that compression garment on um, the proper way and properly fitted, which our production coordinator will do. Now, over the years, we've had a number of companies that we use compression garments uh, with, but certainly the last few years we've used one company that we are really, really happy with their product um, and also the features of the product. So the company that I use, I use is the Lipoelastic post-surgical compression garments. I've been really happy with the effect of these and um, they also have a fantastic uh, a number of features that can, that can be handmade and hand fitted to you as well. Um, they got a huge selection so usually in the catalog we can get really anyone fitted for these garments. Now what are the features of this particular brand? Well it's antibacterial. So it actually has nanoparticles of silver that slows down the spread of microbes and speeds up healing. That's pretty amazing. Um, and by doing that, it first of all obviously reduces the infection rate, but also the odors that can sometimes happen with uh, the garments. So uh, by killing the bugs, you get less odors um, after um, wearing it um, as well. It's nice and elastic. Um, and it's got lots of adjustments that can be made so that it can fit your body very snugly and give you the right compression. As the swelling comes down, it also allows you, um, you to tighten the garment up over time. Uh, so that's a really useful feature. And the other feature, which I'll demonstrate in a moment, is that you can take it off and zip this on the side and it's really easy to take off as well. Now, it has a breathable membrane system so that it lets the water out and the sweat out onto the, um, onto the actual garment. So you can always feel dry and comfortable. It's not like these uh, really rubbery sort of things that make all the sweat sit inside and it doesn't feel very good. It's latex free, so if you have latex allergies, you can still use it. And they got this uh, uh, really good system of a perforated 3D material uh, that allows massaging of the scars, they reckon. Um, and by massaging the scars, they improve the uh, blood circulation. And by that, by improving the blood circulation, it's supposed to improve the healing as well. So that is a very interesting feature with these garments as well. Uh, it also has flat seams, so uh, you don't want anything uh, touching your skin when you're having a garment on. You don't want sort of the zipper to push against the skin because then you get marks and that can actually be a serious problem afterwards. So uh, they're stitched in such a way that there's nothing metallic or nothing uneven sitting on your skin. Uh, it's all seamless um, on the inside of the garment. Now, how long do I use garments for? It, it varies from the different operations. We're talking about the tummy tucks at the moment, uh, but certainly face, face body lifts, uh, inner, arm, uh, inner arm lifts, uh, thigh lifts are all areas that I use compression garments. And, the, uh, and it, again, it varies a little bit how long you use it for. For tummy tucks, uh, we tend to use it for four weeks full time. Uh, you can take it off for shower, uh, so you can take it off the first day for shower, have a shower and then put it back on again. It's got a little hole for your toilet, uh, for going to the toilet, so you don't necessarily have to take it off for going to the toilet. Some of our clients find it's easier to just take it off, uh, have a shower and then go to the toilet and put it back on again. Uh, you'll find the first few days it's going to be a little bit tricky because moving and twisting is going to be quite hard. Um, 
So that's an area where you do need some help from maybe your partner to take it off and on. Once you get to the first three to five days, most of our clients are able to take it off and on very easily. And um, you'll find that that's usually not a problem at all. Um, after the four weeks, we usually go another two weeks, but it's more or less a little bit up to you how you want to do it. So a lot of clients feel that they swell up during the day, so they put the garment on during the day. Some don't have much of an issue until the end of the day, and then they put the garment on overnight. But you won't need to have it full time at the end of that four week mark.